Alrighty. Here's a version of body mechanics. Cool. I've got that thing at the end. Uh, first off, I will probably make this a true 1080p. You can use them the full resolution there. And in terms of mechanics, I think what I would do is... I think it's, it's pretty okay. It's going to have to lean ever so slightly. Now, it's heresy, but I've barely seen any episodes. Airbender. So, I can't comment on the poses in terms of, like, that's the pose he makes when he fights and all that stuff. I know, I know. At this point, why have I not? But I think it could be interesting to be maybe just less straight. Just get it a bit more and then ever so slightly bent. I know this is about, you know, balance and control and blah, blah, blah. But it, it just seems a bit too default. I'd be careful when things are that straight. And then CG, you can have a little bit more. Maybe have a little bit of a curvature in the body. Slight, slight, you know, maybe like rotating the fingers back, giving us a, a bit more. And I don't know if, if the foot has to be contacting, if that's the pose there, or you want it free floating. But that would be my the first thought. Now, in terms of mechanics, there's something about this that seems a bit odd in terms of moving so straight. And I mean, you know, if that's a staff, you're going to have a curve to it. It just, it just seems, for me, it's two things. It moves very straight, but it also comes out of nowhere. As in, it's not like you can see the pressure where he pushes the foot down to engage these muscles to move over there, or he brings one foot out or one leg out first to create counter uh, the balance, you know, to go over there, or he brings up his arm and then with the staff, that creates weight that brings him over there. It's just a bit pose to pose, straight path into this. And I wonder, again, I'm not familiar enough with the show or at all. Uh, let's be honest. And uh, it, maybe there's a specific way he does it in the show where he gets out of this pose or maybe it dissipates with something, you know, where you want to curve even more. Not saying you should do something like that, but giving a, a bit more bottom mechanics love in terms of maybe anticipate for a lean and then over or like I said bringing anything on from this side over there to create imbalance and off balance that brings him over there you know or he lowers himself a little bit and then with that he moves over and then jumps down I mean like a little bit of a dip in the roots and then back up into a bit of a curvature into that and then when you hit this, I don't see really much in here. I'm not sure how much you can see in terms of the hips with that enveloping in that model. But as you fall and you use this now, basically, right? This leg is stopping this momentum fall. By going this way, the leg pushes this way against that. So the moment you have, not on that frame, because it takes two, three frames, or depending on your style, to really push against this. And that's where you would feel the hip go up this way. It's going to be a bit of a shoop, slight change in the arc of that root because it's being whoop, stopped. But when this stops, the upper part still has the full momentum or you know screen left momentum at this point. So it could be some little bit of bow, impact with a little bit of overlap in there. Just a little bit. You want to feel a bit, almost a bit of a tremor in there. Again, not saying it should be all out of control since he's in control here in terms of the movement. And then it depends on the style. This seems fairly naturalistic. There's nothing wrong with that. Question is, do you want to do something where he might hold and shoo, jump up, hold, shoo, and land a bit faster? That's up to you to push this. But it seems pretty okay, right? He has weight on this, moves that foot over, gets on there. You might have... This seems almost a bit magical because he moves over there, right? Straight, straight into the leg. So... The thing that gets him up, it's tricky because the bend is is away from camera. So we don't quite see the change of bend to straight in the leg. So right now it feels, that's what I'm saying, magical. It feels a bit like he's just being lifted up through wires instead of seeing the full extension on the leg with the help of the arm for a twist, which is not that much, right? Because he just moves over there and then stops. And then the question is, is that to kind of shield his eye to look at this? I'm assuming that's what it is here, right? Because if you play this, there's just a bit of a 
bit of a hiccup in terms of it's only all locks. You can see how you're starting all that movement over there. And then bam, we have a really harsh pivot off of here. I would still have some screen write translation to continue that momentum and force there. This locks a bit too much. And I would it would be great to see. Yeah, it might be tricky again with those pants to see that, but you know, from a from a bend to a straight to really feel that push off and see it. Careful with posing where you have moments of overlap like that with tangent. I would try to keep that staff as clear as you can. Stuff like that is great. And then the landing is cool though. Yeah, I like the landing. Because you have good compression, right? Continues to go down into this. And then I like that's all fun. I would just take this and move that over here or over there. I mean, probably more over here than here because you have a lot of stuff going on here. And the reason why I'm saying this is because at the end you have a tangent, right? You know, that the back with that line here, and this is a little bit there and a little bit here, uh, just for a clean silhouette. I mean, you don't even really need this. I don't know what you're going to add to it. Maybe that's a tree, but I would then still have it here. And you can always frame the shot with foreground stuff and keep that silhouette clean. That's pretty much it. I will probably ease into the lids. Well, it's a bit sharp. But I appreciate the, the already the asymmetry and some of those shapes there. Yeah, that's kind of what I have. Hope that makes sense. Um, and you're asking about the, uh, the body mechanics. So I hope that all makes sense to explain it. And if not, as always, questions are through email. Totally fine. Unlimited emails for questions and planning. And that's it. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.